service key fits <laughs> high side and low side, all right? So it'll fit your high side service valve, and then you just come over here, and it'll fit your low side service valve. What we're doing is closing the high side first. High side first, all right? Righty tighty lefty loosey. Everybody know how to do that? Notice how I'm, how I'm holding it on this end. Reason being, that's where the little tab is to flip it directionally. So don't grab it over here because you're going to keep flipping it on accident without even realizing. It. And you're going to think that you went all the way down and you're just hoping that bitch back up. You know? So get it on there. Know which way you're turning it. Flip it. Just hold it on the opposite end so you go the right way. You don't switch over. Plus, you can see the valve go down. Can y'all see that, guys? Mm -hmm. See that? I was going down. Obviously, it's just fucking second nature habit. I got like the muscle memory. Even after surgery, bro, I still got the muscle memory. Hey, it stopped, guys. These valves are brass, so it's not like a mechanics man. Them screws, you get, you get, give it that fucking extra quarter turn. Don't do that shit with brass. You're gonna strip it. All right. So once it stops, it stops done and now we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage the contactor and you're gonna watch my pressure make sure it goes all the way down to zero <coughs> ready hold your insulation engage your contactor I'm gonna put this over to my low side and I'm steadily gonna start closing my low side as I go because you don't want to overdo this once it's at zero, there's no more refrigerant. That compressor is just struggling. So you gotta hurry the hell up and close it. But don't let off your contactor until this valve's closed. The pressure will shoot back. <laughs> 